We all want to become better orchid parents and have them bless us with their magnificent blooms. But what is it that turns magnificent plants like this and our dream boat babies like this or our happy smiling children into sad, sorry, dying messes? Wrinkling pseudobulbs, limp leaves. So this is the first thing that you reach for. Don't die, don't die, please don't die. What am I doing wrong? Orchids and hydration, the biggest factor in killing orchids. So we'll delve into the basics of it to give you a better idea on how to go about making sure your orchids get the right hydration that they need to survive. And good morning from the Nature Company. If this is the kind of information you're interested and in, need to know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell to be notified of all our upcoming videos so you never miss out on a thing. In trying to understand orchid hydration needs or watering requirements, we first got to look at and explore the orchid varieties and their unique thirst levels. Orchids belong to a diverse family and each species or hybrid has adapted to thrive in its natural environment. Some orchids like the Phalaenopsis come from tropical rainforest areas and like that continually moist environment. And others such as the Cattleyas come from drier areas that prefer to get a dry period after a good wetting. So it just goes to show understanding your orchid's natural habitat will help you understand its watering requirements and for you to be able to reproduce a good care routine to make sure your orchids are always at their best. The role of the roots in the water uptake also needs to be understood for you to be able to develop a proper watering regime. Orchids have a unique root structure specifically designed for the efficient uptake of water. They are covered by a spongy water retentive velamen that allows them to take up the moisture quickly. When assessing your orchid's hydration needs, it's essential to inspect the roots. Healthy roots are typically plump and have a green end showing the active growth. They generally have the silvery white appearance when they dry and as they wet, they go green. So if they kept moist, they keep this nice green color, but as they dry out, they turn the beautiful silvery white. Whereas dehydrated roots can appear gray or brown and all shriveled. So monitoring your orchid's root health is crucial for gauging when it needs watering, especially during periods of active growth and water requirements will generally be a lot higher. Now that we understand how much water to give our orchids, we need to also understand what water to give them. Is it tap water? Is it rain water? Is it distilled water? How do we choose? Tap water can be a good option, but then also we need to understand the dissolved mineral salts that are in it. Have we got hard water? Have we got soft water? So having it tested would be a good idea. Some orchids can be sensitive. Be careful with tap water unless you can filter it to remove any of those excess minerals. Rainwater collected properly is of course your best bet for watering orchids as this is what they would naturally be getting. If you can't collect or store enough rainwater then what about distilled water? Is that going to be a good option? Distilled water has an extremely low mineral content, which is not particularly recommended for, for orchids. But if you're looking to flush your pot to remove all those excess salts, then I would say it's a good bet. So now we've decided on our water source, and now there's just one or two other little pitfalls that we've got to avoid falling into. Make sure you're not watering your orchid with cold water. Oh, ooh. Hmm. Cheers. Allow it to settle until it gets to about room temperature and then it's time to water. 
Also be careful when using water softeners or other chemically treated water. If this is the only water that you can get, allow it to stand and settle at least for 24 hours to allow for some of those chemicals to dissipate or give it a quick boil, let it sit and cool and let the scale form at the bottom and use the water off the top. So now creating a good water routine is essential for good orchid care. So when and how to water your orchids? Orchids should be watered when their potting media approaches dryness before it gets completely dry. The timing for this can vary based on a variety of factors like temperature, humidity and the potting media that has been used. A common approach is the soak and dry method. Water your orchids thoroughly and ensure the water reaches the roots and then allow the pot to drain completely, avoiding letting your orchids stand in the water as this can lead to root rot. With regards to the watering techniques, there are various watering techniques that you should consider for your orchid. Are we top watering versus bottering watering? Top watering, as it says, involves pouring water directly into the potting media. This is effective for thorough hydrating of the roots. Bottom watering involves placing up the pot in a tray of water, allowing the roots to soak up the moisture from the bottom. This can be a gentler method and prevents water from accumulating around the crown, which in some cases can cause crown rot. So now what are the pros and cons of soaking versus drenching? Soaking your orchid involves immersing the entire pot in water and is useful for saturating the potting media. Drenching entails pouring the water until it drains from the bottom. This is suitable for ensuring hydration while preventing waterlogging. So select the watering technique that suits your orchid's needs and your watering schedule. But on a, a small note, foliar feeding with water is also a good way of watering your leaves without putting too much water pressure on your media if your media is already slightly moist, but it's a hot day and there's been a lot of evaporation. Orchid care is filled with myths and misconceptions with regarding watering. It's essential to separate fact from fiction. And I hope with this video, I've been able to help you decide just that for yourself. If you have found any of this content helpful in any way, please hit that like button, subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. Bing bong to be notified of all our upcoming videos. Help us grow as we help your orchids grow.